Okay, if you finished your little bits lathe, it should look something like this. Okay, tailstock, screw that turns in and out nice and freely, your motor, your power supply. Okay, now because this lathe is so small, it moves around when you work. So, put some two-sided tape on the bottom, and that'll help it from uh, from moving around. Now you can use either crayons or oil pastels. They're both soft enough. Uh, I'm going to start with a, a crayon and then I'll maybe get into a pastel too. But it doesn't take much pressure. And if you do too much, you'll see what happens. It'll slip your crayon. Okay. Stick that down about there. Okay. Doesn't move? Awesome. Okay, now before you put your crayon in, what you need to do to get to fit into this uh, wheel adapter, you need to make a square on the end. So trim your crayon so it's got a square tip. Just like that, okay? Careful. Okay, now that you've got this end done like that, do the other end. Put a hole in it on center. Obviously this one you can say I missed center and it had a bad rotation. Try to get as close as you can to center. And then see how it fits? It locks right inside of that. Then screw in your tailstock and you're good to go. Just snug, not too tight. Turn on your power and you're ready to go. Don't feed in too quickly, okay? Just a little bit. Just like that. And experiment with different tools. Uh, these are wood carving tools, but you can use knives, you can use blades. If you want a really sharp triangular cut, you use a, an edge like this. You can also use scissors. Or if you want to smooth off a surface, it takes a lot of power, but you can. So yeah, experiment with different tools. Uh, that should be it. You should be good to go. Have fun. If you got any questions, uh, comment below, and I'll try to uh, give you some answers. All right. Bye.